Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top Interview Question Answer Series, and in today's episode, the question is: Define unescape method and escape functions in JavaScript. Here, the interviewer is trying to ask if you have used these methods. If yes, what's your understanding, right? And these are pretty commonly used ones because whenever you're working with strings, it's bound that you probably be using escape and unescape without which things can get little messy and hairy. So um, everybody should know about this. So let's get started and understand what are escape and unescape methods if you already don't know. So the escape function is responsible for coding a string so as to make the transfer of information across a network, right? Unescape will decode it back. Right now, it looks very simple, theoretical answer. Let me show you with some practical so you'll understand. So, just for simple explanation and understanding, whenever you pass a string, right, uh, with spaces or with some special characters like question mark, f apostrophe, etc., it will it will encode it, right? And to read that value back, you'll use unescape, right? That's the that's the feature of uh, escape and unescape. Let me show you that in action. So what I'll do is I'll just throw in a console log and I'll say console dot log. Let's throw in some string here. Say hello. How are you doing today? Right. And then I'm going to say. Isn't it nice? So intentionally I have put a hyphen. I have put a single quote. I have put a question mark. And this is a sp string which has spaces obviously. Right. So now we, what we'll do, we'll do escape. What escape does is it will format this particular string. Let's see that in action. OK, so now I'm, I'll go back to my application and refresh. So now you see this is what it looks like. For spaces, it is putting percent 20, right? 27. So basically it's coding it, right? So now let's copy this. Right. Let's say you send some data like this to other network. That particular application will receive and it will do a unescape. Right. So unescape and you will pass that particular string. And again, you'll put it in double quotes here. OK, now let's refresh this page. So now you will see. Hello, how are you? Isn't it nice to doing today? Right. So we sent a encoded link, which was decoded by putting an escape, which is converting back to this these characters into properly readable form, right? So that's the difference between escape and unescape method. Oftenly asked in interviews, uh, so just make sure that you understand it, create a use case like where it can be used. I've given you one. You can think of many more that you can come across in your application. Alright, so this is the example that I just showed you. Till then, keep learning, keep growing. Do let me know if you have any questions or doubts. I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for much, much more interactive questions. Thank you again.